Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany, your local realtor with homesofdaytonabeach.com and guide to all things Daytona Beach. Here in Daytona, we're gearing up for October's biggest event, Biketoberfest 2023. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some of the most fun things that you have to put on your list while you're here. Now, some of you watching this video may be seasoned veterans here to the Biketoberfest scene, but others may be newbies. So if you are a veteran and you're watching this video, make sure to leave a comment with some of your favorite things to do so all the new people that are coming into town know exactly where to go. So if you guys are ready to get exploring, come with me and let's go take a look. For those of you who may not know, Biketoberfest runs this year from October 19th through October 22nd, and they'll be celebrating their 31st anniversary this year. Biketoberfest brings motorcycle enthusiasts from all over the United States and some other countries so they can enjoy the warm Florida fall weather, get out on the open road, and do some exploring. There are definitely things that you are going to want to do while you're here. First on my list is heading down to Main Street. This is the hub of Biketoberfest here in Daytona, and you're definitely going to see the most action here. You can park your bike right on Main Street or in any of the paid parking lots on any of the side roads. You're going to be able to find plenty of food and drink vendors, merch tents, plenty of other shops and other bars to enjoy. There is so much to do and see here on Main Street that you're probably going to wanna come back a couple of times. And let's not forget about how close you are to some of those other amenities that aren't right on Main Street. You are just a quick walk across A1A to the Daytona Beach Pier and Boardwalk, the Band Shell, and of course, the world's most famous beach. So don't forget to check these things out when you're hanging out on Main Street and take your bike for a ride and a photo op on the world's most famous beach. Make sure to take the trip up to Ormond Beach and hit up the Iron Horse Saloon. This is definitely a staple of events that you have to do while you're here for Biketoberfest. They already have a fantastic lineup of live entertainment scheduled all weekend long, including performances from Colt Ford, Eddie Montgomery, and a whole lot more. They also will have six bars set up on their ginormous property, so you won't have to wait long for a cold drink. There is going to be so much to see and do at the Iron Horse all weekend long, but while you're there, you absolutely have to get their steak tips. If you come to Biketoberfest and you don't get steak tips, did you even come to Biketoberfest? If you love bike shows, you're going to want to head down to the Cabbage Patch here in Port Orange for their Battle of the Baggers bike show. This is happening on October 19th with registration beginning at 10 a.m. and prizes being handed out at 4 p.m. There are 15 different classes that you can compete in. Registration is $30 for your first class and any additional class that you'd like to enter is $10. They're going to have amazing cash prizes, so make sure to come out and check that out. And of course, what is Biketoberfest without a little coleslaw wrestling? That's right. The coleslaw wrestling competition is back at Cabbage Patch. It's going to be happening on Saturday, October 21st at noon. This is definitely something to see. It's going to be a blast. And these girls are serious. If you do come down for the coleslaw wrestling, you need to make sure that you have availability to stick around for the evening entertainment because Big Engine is going to be playing at the Cabbage Patch at 6 p.m. on Saturday the 21st. Big Engine is definitely a local's favorite around here, and if you haven't heard them, this is your opportunity to do so. They're a fantastic band, they put on a great show, and it's gonna be a really great time. If you're looking for something a little more relaxing and you just want to take your bike out on the road and enjoy yourself, then consider doing one of the most popular rides here in Volusia County for Biketoberfest. The first one is taking the loop. This one takes you all the way through Ormond Beach and all the way back up A1A. It's going to be one of the most beautiful and peaceful rides that you're going to be able to see here in Volusia County. You'll be surrounded by large live oak trees, Spanish moss, and it's really just a beautiful ride. You may also want to head down to Ponce Inlet to see the lighthouse. From Daytona Beach, you're just going to head south on US-1 until you reach Ponce Inlet. Just keep in mind that the lighthouse is not actually in Lighthouse Point Park, so don't be fooled. I mean, that park is still amazing if you want to head in there, but the lighthouse is not in there. It's in a separate part of Ponce Inlet. 
Once you've seen the lighthouse, make sure to stop at one of the several restaurants that Ponce Inlet has to offer here. Some local faves include Hidden Treasure, Jerry's Italian Antiki Bar, and Racing's North Turn. The Ponce Inlet ride is definitely a ride that you don't want to miss. A great way to stay connected during Biketoberfest to make sure you're not missing out on any fun events is to download the Biketoberfest app. This is a free app you can download on both Apple or Android, and it is packed full of information that you can access anytime you want. You can find a complete listing of all of the scenic drives that you should take while you're here. You can keep up to date on all of the amazing events and activities that are happening all weekend long. You can figure out which places are the most visited and get directions to those events. This is a great pocket guide that's going to help you stay in the know and get the most out of your Biketoberfest experience. There is a whole lot more going on this weekend during Biketoberfest than I could fit in this video. So if you've got plans to do something else that I didn't mention today, make sure to leave a comment below with all of the details so everybody knows what's going on. We're really happy that you guys are here to enjoy your motorcycles and our beautiful fall Florida weather. Just make sure to ride safe out there because we want you back for Bike Week in 2024. If you do have any real estate related questions while you're here or after you've gone home, make sure to reach out to me on our website, homesofdaytonabeach.com. This is a fantastic interactive website that you can use to browse all of the available inventory here in the greater Daytona Beach area. You can learn about different communities, get your questions answered, or schedule a time to meet to talk about your real estate goals. We are always here to help, so please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.